to go. And as I started to grow up, and I started to become more jaded about the world we lived in, I realized that I had the power to rule. I decided that the dark side was the only side. Who will follow me to the dark side? I will rebuild your world your universe will be better than ever if you follow me, Moff Gideon. Mandalorians have nothing on me. Jedis have nothing on me. I will be your fearless leader. How many of you want to be a dark trooper. Yeah! yeah! How many of you want to change the outcome of your lives? Follow me and you will know what the truth is. Bring me the child. <laughs> will squash that little big-eared bastard. <laughs> he has something that we all need. He has something that we all want. And in the world and universe that we are moving toward, we will all need to have a little piece of that big-eared bastard. <laughs> Follow me, Moff Gideon. Follow me. What do you have to say about that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and how about you? Long live the Empire. Long live the Empire! <laughs> Boo hoo to you. <laughs> What do you have to say? <laughs> Just as I thought. Now I know we're all eagerly awaiting the new Mandalorian movie. In the works right now and should be something that you all have great anticipation about. It is coming soon. No spoilers. No spoil. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, I'll take it. So we have a great evening planned for you. Really, really marvelous evening. And you know, from time and memorial, from the beginning, we love the hero. We love the person who can make the right decisions in the right moment who can use the right physicality at the right time, who can, we can believe in and who we can follow. And that person, when I was a young boy, was Luke Skywalker. He was smart, he was handsome, he was physical, and he could do all the things that we needed a leader to do. So we followed him through all of his trials and tribulations 
we found that he could represent the goodness and the light that was inside of each and every one of us. So I am here tonight to invite to the stage the inimitable, the one and only, the hero of heroes who started it all, the most incredible Mark Campbell! and this reason only. That's why I'm the man. <laughs> With the plan. How many people will follow me? Tell me that. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, I'll bring, you, I'll bring you to the dark side. I'll bring you truly there. So, Chicago, we love you. And we're so happy to be here tonight. And if I have a panel here next year, I want every single one of you to come. The excitement and the electricity in this room is absolutely incredible. I, all I said to my wife is, where has this guy been? You are brilliant. Thank you, sir. Just a brilliant Thank actor. You. I love you. I love what you do. Thank you so Enjoy. much. Enjoy. Thank you. Enjoy, Mark Campbell, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So, what do you want to talk about? I love you, Mark. Thank you. Uh, I've been pretty busy lately, and... Uh, I should tell you what I've been doing. I, I'm right now. I'm in uh, Winnipeg. I, I filmed yesterday. Came after we finished shooting. I have to go back. It's a movie called The Long Walk, based on the Stephen King novel, and it's pretty grim stuff. Um, and I, it's ironic because uh, I first worked with Mike Flanagan in The Fall of the House of Usher. And I said, okay, let's see. I'm playing a soulless, amoral sociopath who's also a lawyer. Why did they think of me? But I'm so grateful to, to Mike because I was a huge fan of his before he contacted me, I loved uh, uh, The Haunting of Hill House, The Haunting of Bly Manor, I loved uh, Midnight Mass, and so I really wanted to work with him. When I read it, I thought, I don't know how I'm gonna do this part. I, you know, a lot of times you read something and you go, oh, I know exactly who this guy is. That character came to me very late in the game.
It's like a legit elevator. It's like bigger than my house. Yes, I bring the best things.